Hello and welcome. In this video I want to discuss a method or a technique of differentiation called the chain rule. Now the chain rule is used to differentiate composite functions and is, de and is defined as dy dx. So the differential of y with respect to x is equal to dy du. The differential of y with respect to u times du dx, the differential of u with respect to x. Now let's try and make a bit more sense out of what this means. Suppose I have the function u of x and it's equal to 3x minus 6. And now suppose I have the function y of x and that's equal to 7 times 3 x minus 6 all to the power of 9 or to the ninth degree. Now if I didn't know the chain rule and I wanted to differentiate y with respect to x it would involve quite a lot of work because I would have to expand this 3x minus 6 out using binomial expansion and I'll come up with a polynomial of the ninth power or, or, or a ninth degree polynomial and uh, while a polynomial is easy enough to differentiate, uh, there's a lot of work in uh, expanding this out and the more work there is, the more error prone or there's more chances of making a mistake. So instead I can realize that this term inside is equal to u of x. So instead of saying y is a function of x, I can say that y is a function of u. So that would imply then that y of u of x, so y is now a composite function, is equal to 7 times u of x to the power of 9. Or I can write that more neatly as y of u is equal to 7 u to the ninth. Alright, so now that I've found y as a function of u, I can differentiate y with respect to u and I'll get dy du is equal to the 7 remains as a constant times 9 comes at the front u to the power of 8 and because u is also a function of x, I can find the differentiation of u with respect to x as well. So du dx is equal to 3. x differentiates to 1. The constant 3 remains and the constant 6 differentiates to 0. So du dx is equal to 3 and uh, dy du will evaluate to 7 times 9 is equal to 63 u to the 8th. Okay now the differentiation of y with respect to x can simply be expressed as 63 u to the power of 8 so dy du multiplied by 3 du dx that will leave me with 3 times 63 will give me 189 u to the power of 8 and u we know is equal to 3x minus 6 so the differential of y with respect to x is equal to 189 times 3x minus 6 to the power of 8. Okay, let's try another example. Suppose I have y is equal to e to the power of 2x. Now I'm going to let u of x equal 2x. So 
y of u. So instead of writing y of x, I'm going to write y of u is equal to e to the u. And therefore then dy dx is equal to dy du times du dx. Now the differential of e to the u is simply e to the u, it remains the same. And the differential of u with respect to x is equal to 2. So this would equal 2 e to the power of 2x. Let's do one more example. Suppose I have y is equal to 3 plus e to the 2x to the power of 5. I'm going to let u equal to 3 plus e to the 2x. So u of x is equal now to 3 plus e to the 2x and y can be rewritten as y of u is equal to u to the power of 5. So now the differential of y with respect to x is equal to dy du du dx. Well, dy du is simply 5 multiplied by u to the power of 4. So the power of 5 comes out the front, minus 1 power. Now the du dx term, well the 3 differentiates to 0. e to the 2x we found out before differentiates to 2 e to the 2x. So in this case we had to utilize the chain rule twice. So that so this now evaluates to 10 u to the fourth e to the 2x which if I sub u back in I'll get 10 multiplied by e to the 2x times 3 plus e to the 2x to the power of 4. And that's pretty much all there is to the chain rule. As always, these concepts will come more naturally with practice. If you have found this video useful, please give me a thumbs up. If you are currently studying math, please feel free to subscribe to my channel for future videos that may help you on exams or assignments. And as always, please feel free to ask me any question by commenting on any of the videos that you've seen. Thanks for watching and I hope you've learned something.